Shazam. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. All right, chat. So today, we are playing this lovely game known as The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I've heard about this game for years, for <coughs> centuries, for a decade now. Never fucking played this fucking thing. So now I'm going to play blind with all of you. I haven't even watched people play this game. I think I tuned in for a little bit for a little skosh uh, when a friend of mine played it, but I have nothing. Ten months, baby. Also high sigh. Let's go. So fun fact, Sai, there's an achievement you can get for this game if you play it for all of a Tuesday. Bro, then if I start this game up, I'm about to get a fucking trophy. Let's go. Hey, thank you for the hundred well, biddies. I haven't even heard of it. You haven't heard of it? Psh, must be living under a rock. Anyway, before we get started, chat, I want to give a big shout out to Movie Star. Because, uh, <laughs> because for those of you who were not there for the, uh, you know, the Markiplier fucking stream, uh, this, they, 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 um, they helped us make it to the Sonic sub goal. So we're going to be doing a Sonic marathon, starting with Sonic Origins when it drops. So, uh, there's that. Also, thank you for the 100 biddies, Lucy. Hey, Coco, thank you for the seven months. And my day's going pretty well. Uh, been a chill day for the most part. My shoulder's been killing me. So, but yeah, starting when Sonic Origins drops, we will be playing every Sonic game. Every one. Well, actually, maybe not everyone, because technically, Hello. if we're How counting, day so far? if we're counting the side games, we'll be, uh, there are 135. So, we will uh, be playing a good amount of them. Including Sonic Boom, Sonic 06, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, or Ice and Fire, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, Sonic Colors DS, maybe. I think, I think that was part of the deal. Uh, and uh, the, the Dark Brotherhood. So yes, the Sonic Marathon will be dreadful. It will be absolutely amazing. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that till J J J J J July, July, July. Right, chat. I need a, I need a frank track. When is that? When does Sonic Origins come out? When does, when does Sonic Origins come out? Dicks! Oh, it, it comes in dicks. Nice. Thank you. All right. Anyway, let's get started. In English, por favor. Have you played Stanley Parable before? <laughs> no. Perfect. Please, adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. There you go. Good enough. Please enter the correct time. It is currently, for me, chat, relax. It just turned to, hey, yo, chill. All right. It just turned to 650, but I'll put it 651. Says June 23rd, bet. Good morning, whiskers. Note. Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. All right, chat. Get ready for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version. Oh, dude, look. It's an endless mirror of the fucking game. Yeah, this is great. I can't believe it. I can't believe we've made it here, chat. We've made it to the Stanley Parable game. Have you ever had a desk job in your life, chat? Have you ever had a desk job? I haven't. Well, I mean, technically, and we're being really anal about it. I've always had a desk job. Working from my computer, sitting down, playing video games. Still at my desk, though, but a desk nonetheless. Here we go. Never end. The, 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 the net end never ends. What? This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's us! I think, maybe. 
Oh. Stanley oh. worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Ah, racism, employee got it. Employee number 427's job was simple. <laughs> he sat at his desk in room uh -huh. 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Cool. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long push, to push, push, them, push. and in what order. Okay. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Ew. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. True. Though he had been made exactly for this job. And Ew. Stanley was happy. I'm not. Are you, chat? And one day, Trick question, we're not. Happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. What was something that? He would never quite forget. What? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions. Ah, it was the day off. Or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Damn. Something was very clearly wrong. Yeah. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits um, and regained um, his senses, the he got time. up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, what the fuck? Well, maybe I don't want to step out of my office. Also, can we... Uh, I'm going to throw up. Excuse me, can we adjust the... Um... Ah, 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 Stanley! Anyway, uh, can we adjust the... Um... The uh, horizontal thing? Oh God, he's dead! <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Camera sensitivity, that's the one. Yeah, make it 10. Oh, thank God, it's at least bearable. All right, can I not? I guess I'll do what the disembodied voice says. <laughs> Stanley walked out. Okay. All right, so no spoilers in chat chat because um, All of his code I haven't played this ever. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. By the way, heads up, I am playing this on PS5, so... Just heads up. I want to sharpen my shit. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but I it did. didn't make a single difference. Stop! 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 Bro, Stanley's the... You know how there's different types of love? Like, it's like, mm, Yes, I'm one who prefers gifts as so to show signs of affection. It's like, oh yeah, Stanley's the touching kind. You can tell, because he's touching everything. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, I gotta touch something, man. Is that a keyboard? <laughs> anyway, uh... Painting? Door? This isn't the main meeting room. Hello? Janice? Hey, what's up, Zerval? Stanley down bad? Oh, yes, he is. Turn off all the computers? That was my plan. <laughs> you think that Stanley, the manly guy, wouldn't turn off every single fucking PC he wouldn't see? So many endings? No way. <laughs> this fucking game has multiple... Then again, this is probably, like... One of the things that inspired Markiplier, I could only imagine. I want to go back to my office. I'm I, I'm lonely. Please, please let me back in. Come on, baby, let me back in. Veronica, open, open the door, please. Veronica, open the door. This shit was running YouTube, really? Bro, I missed the memo. I don't know why I'm picturing this man being Stan the Water Man. Well, he's not. He's Stan the Computer Man. Will there be a season two of Horimiya? I'm gonna put my glasses on for this one. Um, My sweet, sweet chatter in chat. The answer is no. 
Now, if you look at the evidence, um, if you look at the evidence, the show ended with the manga ending. So unfortunately, it will not be a second season. It is unfortunate, but that's the way anime works. I, um, uh, hope that answered your question. Anyway, apparently I'm blind. Did I miss a computer? Uh, I did see the one computer. I can't go to that side because literally 425. And, uh, I can't access it. And I can't open doors. So. You know. There was that. Uh, one second. Let me close that. Hey, thank you for the well, hundred biddies. funny if it was Stan the Waterman? No, it would not be funny. It would not be funny. Did you ever think about that? When Stanley came to a set of two open oh, doors, God! he entered the door on his left. It's the Markiplier game! It really is! No! I need to have more than two options! Well, chat, are we going left? Or are we going right? Chat? I don't left or right left or right left or mm, yes into the thick of it into the thick of it into the thick of it yeah three two one we're going 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 on a trip in my favorite rocket ship cruising through the sky little Einstein yeah we're going right this was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well perhaps what? he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it Anyway. Someone in here? Someone in here? How do I get in there? Open the fucking door. Open the open the fucking door, please. Bro, there's a computer. I gotta turn off and there. Come on, let me in. Let me in. I gotta turn off my computer. Anyway, uh yeah, I can't get in there. Sorry, fellas. Uh, anyway, um, do you guys know it's May Day today? Happy May Day! <laughs> the fuck is this? <sighs> yes, Can you stop? Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Immaculate? Is that what we're calling this? Hey, can I get a drink? Can I get a drink? It was some cocoa. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yes. Really worth it. I need to put money? Well, guess what? I work in a fucking desk job. You think I got the money to this pay for this cold drink? His obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Hey, yo, chill. I just want to drink, bro. Why, why you gotta attack me like that? Fuck. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But Damn when right. a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Oh. Well, now I'm gonna make you wait. Hmm. Where's my message? Ah, my shoulder. Oh, God, my shoulder actually does hurt. Fuck. Hey, Tiff. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the eight all months. The fun streams. I hope you're having a great day. Ah, uh, I'm good. My sh oh, fuck. My, my left shoulder has just been killing me all day. The narrator is my favorite part of the Stanley Parable. This is a mistake. Shh. Yeah, what are you gonna do if I'm? Uh, I'm out. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I'm out. Uh, 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 uh. In close. Last, <laughs> he had enough of the amazing room and took Son the first open door on his left to get back to business. No computer on in there. Printer. Door. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. 
That scared the actual shit out of me. I thought it was part of the game. I dead ass thought it was part of the game. Huh. I'm gonna listen to this fucking bitch. Well, I can go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. True. Yeah, well, guess what? Multiple endings? So fuck you. I can do what I want, when I want. Why does this remind me of Portal a little bit? Like, Portal 2 specifically. <clears throat> a warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5000 Well, watch me, bitch. Look, Stanley, I think... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, oh. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yeah, they do. <laughs> from back here! I have watched another YouTuber play this and I warn you he lost his mind. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, well, time to retrace All my steps. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Speed run! Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. They call me Sonic in the sheets! <laughs> Cause I'm too fa What the fuck? Let me turn it off. Can I not turn this one off? Hello? Well, let me turn it off, guys. Well, da 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 Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I didn't, bitch! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired. But rap it down. All right. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your I don't even have feet. I realize dragon. that investing in your oh. trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone um, you've been neglecting, um. Stanley. Huh? Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not well, asking I want for to. me. I'm asking for her. For who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. You're going to open that door for me? work aside. To let her back into your life. What the She's fuck is been happening? Waiting. But I want to go in here. Alright, where else? <gasps> oh shit! What is good? How's it going, Raiders? It's your boy, Asayu. How's it going, Monarch? You had a good stream? Is this loud enough for all you raiders? What's up? I'm not... <laughs> I was gonna make a joke and be like, How's it going? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? I'm Sayu, the cyborg Sayu. I'm a professional voice actor. Got... I've been shot. That's it. I've been shot. How's it going, everybody? I'm Sayu, the cyborg Sayu. I'm a professional voice actor who has just been shot by chat. Uh, I <laughs> gone VTuber. That's the stream. Way to go. Today we're playing Stanley Parable. I've never fucking played this game before, but literally, uh, I was joking about how the game reminded me already of Markiplier's, like, choose your own adventure style thing. So, um, you know, it, it literally is just that. But, uh, yeah, welcome everybody, I'm Sayu, we're playing this, um, what else, if you want to know what I voice acted in, exclamation points VA in chat, or exclamation points voices in the chat, 
Uh, I also do song covers. Blame Monarch. They uh, kind of enabled me to do them like way back when. I don't even remember way back when it was, like five years ago or some shit. And I go by Weeby on, uh, on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube and stuff. So if you press exclamation point music in chat, that's, those are my covers. I uh, recently came out with an album, exclamation point side tunes, where you can listen to stuff like this. There you go. That was the end of the song. But anyway, that's my stuff. And, uh, uh, here we go. Welcome. Thanks again for the raid. Monarch, when are we doing Smasher Pass 3? I'm waiting. <laughs> Y'all hit me up that. All right. Waiting on me? Waiting on me? Hey, yo, Supreme. Who, who are we waiting on? Hmm? It's Monarch, right? That, that Smasher Pass 3. <laughs> That's the title. That's a good title. Hey, I'll write that down. Somebody write that down. <laughs> Supreme tell him. Yeah, Supreme tell tell Amanda whose fault it is. Tell anyway. Alright, what am I doing? They want me to go through the door. But I could just say fuck you. Alright, hold on. What if I go back? Oh, they won't let me. Wait, can I drop? Nah, if I drop, I'm dead. <laughs> Can I climb this box? Can I climb this box? Hey, oh, GM Rocker! The best. You're going to love this so much. One of my favorite games ever. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad, because I've never played this. Ever. Alright, fuck it. We're going through. They closed the door on me. Savages. Oh. I don't like that. Is this a horror game? I'm scared. I'm scared, chat. <laughs> Try jumping? How do you jump? You can't. I can't jump. Yeah, you can't jump. You can only crouch. You can only teabag your way to victory. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What the standing. fuck? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Hold on, chat. Bop, bop. All right. Can I do this? I saw someone in chat say you could unplug the phone. Chat, please don't backseat and tell me what I can and can't do. As Stanley <gasps> picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, 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 I'm plugging it no, back. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I don't know. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Open Let the door. Double check. <laughs> no, and then I, the narrator tells Tuesday. Stanley that Stanley he's a fucking asshole. Phone, he's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Oh. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not Damn. picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Damn, we're None gonna fuck! these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... What did you see? No, that's not possible. What did you say? I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You hung you up on sex? I did. You're a real person. Oh, shit! <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as what? though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Like what? Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my um. watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe Wait, decision stop. making in the real stop. world. Please what are you observe doing? this helpful instructional video. I'm scared. I'm scared. Choice. Oh. It's the best part of being a real person. But wow. if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hey. hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Yo, if your he name is Rupert, I'm sorry for you. eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. He turned or that he cockroach into a burger. That's disgusting. Forgetting how to read. 
Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make Yo, a choice. Yo, chat. If that your name is Rupert, raise your hand. Rational logic. I'm if trying you to see find some. yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow <gasps> the person to finish their thought. How dare you? Then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, "My goodness, is it 4:30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack." Damn, he said I'm supposed to fuck. Excellent. Making choices what? on a regular basis is oh, the that's best just part the wrong to choice. a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Eight? Do you make more Only? than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the Bro, world, you wake just up and that's already that a choice. In the vast, infinite you woke of space, up. Your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material My covered in this video. Fact is, I'm supposed to be having a bad ah, second. Welcome crack. back. Oh, you know, God, where are, are we? This room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Ah, Good so it's my fault. Now that you're properly informed... Bro, this really is the Markiplier game. game. That's crazy. Visit a choice you made I mean, I'm sure that minutes ago Markiplier got inspired by this game. But you know this what I mean. Way, please. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. You can't make me. Mm. Getting out of bed is a choice. Going to the bathroom is a choice. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I could literally, if I wanted to, lay in bed, piss, and shit in my bed. Those are also choices. Got him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, maybe I want to pick up that phone and see my wife. Honey, <laughs> I miss my wife. <laughs> my goodness, it's 4.30 already. Looks like I'm going to fuck. <laughs> All right, you close the door on me, I see. Sir, the phone is unplugged too late. I blame chat. Well, I don't want to go this way. You can't make me. I want to go through the wall. Can I open doors? Open this door. All right, what's my next choice? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Boo! And the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Months, go Boo! Up, up 11 months. Hey, Boo! thanks, Lopez. Almost one year. Jeez, time flies so quickly. Anyways, true story would make no sense. I already jumped off. The game already knew. As soon as possible, before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, let me out of here. This place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Let me out of here. That was up, drawing fan art. <laughs> Motherfucker, I will jump right now. Can I go through here? Ooh, key card. I don't have one. Back in Mississippi. So what are you forcing me back to the way this door? Oh no. So uh, am I just going straight? Is that was happening. Am I going back to my office? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. But what if I jump out this window? Can cyborgs piss and shit themselves? Curious? No, they can't. They recycle. Bro, let me out! I'm tired of these mind games! Let me in! All right. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. But that I'd means rather not. Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All, All right. right. But... <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, oh, I'm a fuck. He I'm a fuck with him. On his left. Left. 
No! Why did you do that? Okay, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> Bro. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Left. Oh, see that? That fixed it a little. This looks slightly fixed. Man, you're lucky I can't open doors yet, narrator. This is bullshit. Fine. I'll go left. Can you open the door? Open the... There's another fucking computer. Let me in. One of these days, I'll have opposable thumbs and open doors. Ah, ah, I'm blind! Oh, uh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story, you've destroyed my work! That motherfucker gave me a... Uh, he didn't go... Uh, motherfucker went... Uh, uh, that's what he did. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was, was so fun. special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so you know. much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed These to do? Suck, by the way. Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my yes. story is now incorrect? How can I go yes. back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving yeah, its stupid. impossibility forever. Who's I front? Live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To hey, don't do that. All of my work? Hey, yo, chill. No. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I chill? do? Chill. Do I? No, I have to. I have to <gasps> shut the game down. Don't you be a I pussy now. I have to. You have to do nothing. Oh, God. It's not okay. I'm starting to sound like muscle man. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. you this is what happened. Who thought you were so Me? Clever. Now look where we are. Look what you did! The game is destroyed. It was this is your fault! The world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just yes. had to see? A thousand percent. Impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley. He no. actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That Bro, the next time I'm literally gonna do everything he tells me to do. Child. Uh, no, I'm a grown adult who plays with Legos. My story. Fucking relax. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a hole. Well, now I can't go through either. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried I so hard. So hard. To I'm a DM with no, no that isn't a, uh, able to fucking exactly adapt. Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly Hello? and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope, I entered the door behind me. All right, fuck you. I'm going right again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. No. <laughs> is behave exactly as Stanley would. Bro, means bro, bro. Am I? Putting the story first. I'm already there. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Bro, let me Just in. Let me in. And you'll be fine. All right. Let me in. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, open he the door. entered the door on his left. On my right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That I wonder. Choosing I want to see how long I can push it. Story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow. You know, usually rules of three. Right. So after this <clears> next <throat> one, he should Stanley be fucking livid. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'll do it backwards. Watch your shit. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Yeah, I'm in an infinite exactly Tsukuyomi. All right. That means I'll do what you say, narrator. Putting the story first. All I'm right. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set the of infinite two open Tsukuyomi doors, game. he entered the door on his left. I'm going right. Push it to the limit. Oh, hey, look. The office isn't destroyed. 
What does that say? Weekly target again. Marketing Mondays. Group writ fronds do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Hmm. Or maybe I want to. All right, let's see. Using yes, slides to assure employees everything is okay. In a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Man, fuck your answer. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Fuck no. Prove it. Who is Franz? That's you, chat. You're Franz. Number of slides on this slide. Chart. Slides. Charts and slides. Yo, chat. What is this game? Right at which charts on the same slide to pick the same info. Oh my god. Oh my god. No more charts. I'm begging. The boss appreciation. On your boss appreciation minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to... Solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, that's misspelled, but more inclined toward conflict unless you're the... What are your dreams for the future? Nature, success, transcend, plant life, clear skin, spring break, hope, metamorphosis, pollution, a boat, football, charts, mitosis, tits for not getting fired, talk less, do unbelievably amazing work all the time every day with no ex expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. How to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not support. Using slides. All right. All right. Damn. Oh. Hey, I want to go in the broom closet. Let me in the broom closet. All right, chat. They're forcing me to do this their way. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Man, like this? This is... What is this shit? Some bougie crap. I go out. Why couldn't I have used the, the main door like a sane individual? All right. Yo, this really is Rise and Evil. Anchi shmanchi. In the mention. Hello. Is that computer on? I had to use the shitty side stairs when I could have used the main door. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication. Why does that panda have a gun on his head? Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained not. never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Into the unknown! And then spoke the code. Is this the original or the one with the extra content? The extra content. What the fuck? I am the most expensive boss. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night no. Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. No, Stanley did not. Stanley did not speak that into the receiver. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't yes, I don't me, speak. You? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't no. get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I refuse. Sorry, narrator. I refuse. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows mm -hmm. for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice you, you didn't give me you another could have option. Through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You uh. Uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open What the fuck? Hey yo! 
doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Yo, Stanley, Stanley you kind of ugly. I need you to make a choice. The end? I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can Paradox you... detect... Oh, sorry, hold on. Everything all right? Paradox detected. Stanley, this is important. Paradox detected. Paradox detected. Paradox detected. Paradox detected. Paradox detected. Paradox detected. Oh, Stanley doesn't make a choice. Hey, yo, Stanley, look at me. Look at me. Stanley, look at me. What? The story needs him. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. What the fuck? The best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Oh. Take as much time as you need. Bro. Stanley. Yo, we beat the game. Good game, guys. Holy shit. All right, so this time we're going to do exactly All of this what he tells us to do. Gone. What could it mean? This time Stanley around, we're going to do exactly what he tells us to do. He had simply missed a memo. Input received. What the fuck? Okay. I feel like I have to I'll have to do that multiple times. Huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. I went left, bro. Left. We're gonna do exactly what he tells us to. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Yeah, I'm gonna have a word with him. 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 I'm gonna have a word with my boss and talk to him. Coming to a oh, hey. Place, Stanley walked upstairs to his um. boss's office. Um. Or? 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 Chat. Hold on a second. <laughs> I know we said... Now, chat. I know we said we'd listen to the man. However, this red menacing path. I can't contain myself. I have to go. I must see where the light leads. It's time I go down. And we're going down. Go down, that is a different story. Ooh, hey, what's this? Oh, it's a piece of paper. Can I read it? I can't pick it up. I hate it here. We're going down, down! But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. True. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might True. have fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he hey, what's up, Michi Much? everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. True. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he mm. thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. What? All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for Chill. no reason at all. I'm not crazy. It made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet? Oh no, the meta ending! Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, <gasps> these rooms Hello? were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, um, Stan said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. The but meta! Last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, 
What a relief to Stanley, Stanley felt just to have finally found an answer, to work an explanation. From went nuts. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Enough. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, what? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. What? As it too appeared. It was what? so much fun. And what? Sammy marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found what it particularly strange. What the fuck is strange. happening? I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was... Thank you for the sub, Libra. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Okay. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The, the press fuck? of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through up, this Slayer? dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. True. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything uh. will be fine. I am okay. Paradox detected. Well, I'm awake. Stanley began screaming. Please, Fair. someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I see red. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything. Paradox detected. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by ah. extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down Bro. At her body. What and is this game, chat? Is that an ending? Never. The end is never the end. True. Round two, baby. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Dude, moment. I can't believe this shit.
Uh, yeah. Hmm. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, n none of the computers gave an input thing. This time. Interesting. On the hunt for the computers, I see. Uh, people just told me to go for them. I don't, I don't know what they do. When Stanley came to the two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This time we're gonna listen to him. Not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hmm. I'm here. Whoa. Executive bathroom. <laughs> Hey, let's go, Nick Taze. Fuck college. Proud of you. Oh, Chad, I gotta go in the executive bathroom. What the fuck? I've got the feeling. Money's for stealing. But not yours, of course. That's, uh... That's a lovely purse. Okay. Hey, what's up, Sharks? I've never played this game. And I've already died like three times. Let me just close the door. Is it gonna bathroom hit ass? That was me. Gonna go through here? Oh! Oh, the... Huh. It's different. Is it that time? Huh. Business strategy. <laughs> I see. It's different this time, chat. Oh, the input. Bro, what the fuck? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Ooh, extra two, secret pin, guys. Four, five. All right, but two, course, eight, four, Stanley five. couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley had to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the, the newly opened passageway. What the fuck is happening, chat? Well, we're going into the elevator. Where are we going? Bro, this really is portal. That's crazy. Uh, loading. Loading. Deeper into the building, Stanley realized yes. he felt a bit peculiar. It was Yo, a shout out to my friendly neighborhood. In his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? The nature of years, his job. It had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Bro, this just yeet screams portal. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door what? that read Mind Control Facility. Uh... Or... <laughs> or... <laughs> hmm... Mind control or mind control or escape. I don't know. There's mind control. There might be something to this mind control jet. Or 
All right, chat. If someone gives five subs, the first person to get five subs, I'll let them pick. I'll let them pick which way we go. <laughs> God, I'm out of water. Impureza Latina, that's funny. Why not both? Well, hmm. All right, I'm gonna give it. Let's see. I'm gonna give it 30 seconds before I choose. All right, I'm gonna give it 30 seconds before I choose. I mean, not 30 seconds now. Now it's like 20. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we're going to escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth oh, was no. that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. No. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought that was the... But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. No, oh, well, now I want to try again. Still on board with death? Yay, death! Woo! Everybody, let's go. Come on, we can do it. I know that we can do it. Where are we going? Stanley still to die. To Where are we going? Get back on track. To die. Where are we point, going? Stanley was making a conscious to die to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Let's go. Oh, that is a red light. Hello? <laughs> to die. The end is never the end. Oh! <laughs> this is the ride! As the oh, machine no. whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Why do you like this? And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, <gasps> Stanley. I want it! <laughs> yeah, well, what if I duck? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. True. Oh! Okay. What the fuck? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to what? accomplish? Yo, is this Kingdom Hearts? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you Whoa. see Whoa. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? <gasps> the office. Bro, what the fuck? Button sounds. Filing cabinets. The developer all. Dude, this game is wild. 
is fucking trippy, Chad. I love it. And here we are, faced with left or right. And fuck you guys, I'm going right. What the fuck? Stanley walked through the green door. When Stanley came to the lift, he traveled upward to the power source at the top of the facility. What? Bro, what is this? Dude, this game is so wild. Freedom ending. Oh, there's a button over there. What is this? I'm scared. I'm scared. Let her kill. Hope you have a good one. How is this game? Oh, bro. I'm I'm trying to answer these questions. Are you a rock? No. Stupid. What else? Could you tell me what the significance of number 1112800 is? Um. Well, the thing I want to know is what would you do if Stanley entered any other room? Oh, I mean, that's a good question. Delete the game, clearly. Uh. How surreal will this game be? Were you born with a significant, vo magnificent voice, or did you bargain with a magician to receive it? And finally, the most important question of... Uh, be the first to apply it. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you I like the Stanley Parable as much as I like seeing a humorously small badger in swim trunks. Indeed, I like that as much as I like walking in the park, watching the sunset, and I dare... All right. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I hate it here. Constant reminder that I can never finish a fucking set. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. What do you want me to do? You want me to flip it? You want me to flip it? You want me to flip it? Uh -huh. I flipped it. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, no I, it's dark. It's not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. No. Oh, I'm back here? You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn on how? your PlayStation. There's no other way to oh. beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose. Or just pause. Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. No, they chose for me. Shout out to time. Let's go. They dead. Hey. Whoa, whoa, shit's different. Paper's on the floor. Paper's on the floor, chat. Was my number always 427? I feel like that's incorrect. All of his co workers. <gasps> whoa, what the fuck? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Ah. <laughs> gotcha. The floor is paper. I'll get you four, two, five, you son of a bitch. Huh? 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. We've done left a lot of times. Should we do right for once? Yeah, let's do right. We haven't done right in a bit. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, you know. The lounge was sublime. Good lounge, good lounge. Right. What but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Sure, we'll go. We'll go on the and door so to the left. He detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope. Let's go! Different path! Yo, fuck the narrator. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yes, so sir. in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh... Well, yes? Uh, I needed to do what? Yeah, it's, um... Left. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. I don't want to go left. You're gonna close the door no, on me. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. But. Am I going to get runned over? Oh, no. All right, let's go down. We're going down. Di Hello? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just... What? Back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And um, this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Uh, um, All of what? his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Oh, now where the fuck is this computer? Let me check the other room. We're going down, down! Let me back in. This game is pretty cool. Yeah, there are no papers on the floor this time. I did notice that. Alright, now chat. Do we... Do we do the same thing we just did? Whoa! Wait, wait, what? I no, retract I, my statement. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No. Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. True, you I dummy! I right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, Can I open then. the doors? It's an adventure. Oh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, no. I want to go the, the way behind the chairs. Well, I'm going to go all the way right. Whoa. Oh. Well, this is neat. A pig was executed for the murder of a child. It was given full legal representation. Middle Ages or Florida? What? What the fuck? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No, well, I found no. it unlikely that we'll ever progress I got it. starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why no, 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 no! I was in the middle of doing it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had this guy. a memo.
Hey, where are the other computers? Oh, there they are. I think I have like one computer left. Don't know what that means, but ye. Oh, there are no okay, rooms. Yep, it's worse. Look Come what you did. Remembering this wrong, it's possible the story is back where we just came from. Then open Why the door. Let me go back the other direction and see if we missed anything. Let's go. I mean, we missed a lot. Like, you don't let me open up doors. This dude, let me open up doors, man. Aha! I knew we what? missed something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, no. Hey, Miss Rayton, thank you for the prime. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Bro. Where are... Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. I'm scared. I don't think so. It's a dead I end. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yay! Congratulations! I did it! I put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. You're going to steal my Anybody fucking you victory? You any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and... Th this fucking snake. This was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. This is a mistake. Oh, God. No. Oh. The Stanley right. Parable Adventure Line. Solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. True! Just follow the line. How simple is that? <gasps> Yo, let's go! I like the line. I like the line. We told the line. We told the line. I can't turn off the solitaire. That's fine. I like the line. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley. To destiny. To so, destiny. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of Bro, what are you on about? experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Sure. That is not appropriate. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 chat. Pause. Wait, where do I go? This way or this way? What's even this way? What the fuck? Cut the music.
music. Thank Go you. And look Fuck. at that fern. What? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. What? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Later, Orange. Thank you for the hundred biddies. All right, have fun with this mind fuck. I'm going to bed for work. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Now I miss the music, I'm not gonna lie, chat. Oh! We're back here, um, I see. No, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Employee 103 was fired, by the way. The Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Bro. You're not gonna narrate? You're just gonna stay quiet? This time, is that what we're doing? You know what, Stanley? <laughs> I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're True. intelligent people, right? All right. Yeah. Can't we what make up our own am I story. Watching? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Bet. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Let me Why open doors. Simply start wandering in. Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Bet. Say less. And uh, the Stanley now, Parable. Yes. This is exciting. Yes. Just always. Me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I want Iron Man. Oh, no, not oh. you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I, I don't think I can't unacknowledge it. What, you want me to go backwards? Okay, bye. Oh! Different rule! Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Is that how, how that important works? important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum 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 back rooms and that in turn means that our destination what the hell's back rooms? corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin so starting from the right let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going and since the answer is clearly yes then by all accounts the door on the right is the correct you don't know the back rooms no nope. logic Come, Stanley. I do not. Our destiny awaits. But I don't want to go left. The confusing Asian ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed huh. to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Yeah, you so should know. According to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? There My is. Mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this. Blank! Let's go! Well, Six months! Who consulted me? Thank you, Blast, for the sub! Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really. No, it can't be. I. I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. Bro, this is just the Markiplier in space. I won't do it. And the timer uh, stopped. Does I'm that scared. Mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. 
though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. Oh boy! We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you. They said fuck you in the meantime. Oh, someone should pay attention to the clock. It says 10. Oh shit, what? I did it! Uh, what the fuck is this? Um. Oh, it's one of those. What is happening? Cody. What's this about me having no balls? Thank you for the money. Appreciate you. What do I do? Oh, I guess this is the Stanley Heaven, huh? Just press buttons. Bro, this can't be real. <laughs> do I really have to press every single button? This is so stupid. Surely there's an end, right? I, I've done more than those. There's got to be a faster way. Get me out of here. Get me out of here! I hang out, priest! Please! Save me! Thank you for the five gifted, but save me! Oh no. Help! You can't jump. No, seriously, we disable it. Get your first trophy, true? Help! Help! I want out it! I want out! I want out! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Do I have to begin it? <laughs> Get me out of here! I can't! <laughs> no. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Hey, Perhaps sorry, he had I'm simply scared. missed a memo. Me too. Me fucking too. Alright. So this time. When Stanley We're gonna go to right. Set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. We're gonna go and right. Stanley knew it perfectly well. We're gonna Perhaps do to the, the wife one. I'm gonna call my wife. It. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the f but eager to get back to business. I'm gonna call my Stanley wife. Took chat. The first open door on his left. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. How do I get I'm over there? Enemy, really. Ooh, maybe I can drop? I realize that investing in your trust While we hover? In else can be difficult, Ooh, can I do that? The fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. I already got the die ending. Time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Let's go. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Wisp! Well, thank you for the sub! I convince you of this, but thank I you for the really ten gifted. do want to help you. To show you Let's something go. beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. All right. Different ending. Didn't think I'd be able to do this. I'm scared. Oh, 
Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Chat. We're going through the blue door. Am I right, fellas? Chat. We're going through the blue door. The blue door. Let's go. <laughs> what? Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. The blue door. Let's go. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the oh. red door. The blue oh, door. Right, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't yes. let me stop you. Oh. You I'm see? Scared. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> True. Exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth yes. ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for yes. you? Yes. A hundred percent. I put a lot of time into that because I did. And in the end, oh it was my all God, you're one of those DMs. This is what you wanted to see. Help oh, me brother. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable. This desires. guy stinks. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell this guy, what. fellas. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. All there right, we go. A third option. This Stay already less. feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Good. Okay, I'm going to stop you there now. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say Five. that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free Five. to be honest. Five. I'm looking for Five. some real critical Five. feedback Five. here. Five. Five. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from except that... I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly oh? candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Bet. Let's take a look. Bet. Oh. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. <laughs> what is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going. Going right. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. One rigged. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a <laughs> lovely opportunity to give it some play. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm down you to play test. I'm down to play test. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. In this oh. game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very okay. meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think mm -hmm. the art world will really take notice. But of course, mm. the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you ah. give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to get yeah, sure. notes on your experience. Sure, sure, sure. You oh, I died. You bastard. Did you do it because <laughs> you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's I, hate babies. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so was awful, it? why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What? What do we have here? Oh, dude, you got Pong? You got Pong? You got Frogger? Yes. This seems you got like Half Life? Work. Let's give it a shot. What do you got? What do you got? Bro, what the fuck? <gasps> oh, uh, bro! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's up? Dude, it's Firewatch! Let's go! That story. What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians huh? below you from up high in your creep town. Excuse Perhaps you? For some sort of twisted erotic purpose. 
Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Bet. Let's go. Bro. Firewatch looks better. This looks like shit. What was that? Bro, let's do it. No, 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 no. It can't be. What? It is. It's an hey, open for the world biddies. game. Good God, frog quickly, block it game, off. But the game would be better if the frog oh. had a sexy mustache. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off what into that, that thing. That big open... I hate just it. Just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just I hate, go in I any... hate him. Oh, oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay. Technically, we're in the woods. Of here. Let's find I hate him. No! Something something Stop! Nice, big, Leave me! No! 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 Leave me! This is such a good game! This will be just the thing. No! Is this Rocket League? Oh my Wonderful. dear lord. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stan, I hate if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Bet. I already have a solution. Oh, there's a Let's giant hole in the center. Exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of okay. Here well, in there's the not bag, a giant hole there. There's, there's, there's got to be a giant hole in the goal. Seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball, Stanley? I think All it's sports right. ball. Oh, what fun! We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. I hate him. Okay, Stanley. Here's the ball. Have fun. Yeah, where is it? I'm about to break your fucking game. Hold on. What are you doing? I told him. I told him. I told him. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I ain't going anywhere. I ain't going to where do you tell me, old man. I'm going to take a leap. Uh -huh. Whoa. Now it's Portal 2. A thousand percent. Whoa. What are we talking about? Yo, fuck Gladys. We don't need her, right, chat? Oh, there are two options. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Oh, you know, we're in Bendy and the Ink Machine. Ah, my office. Finally. Yo, stop. That's it? Fine. The original version of this game actually oh. had Portal as the game instead of Rocket League. I wonder oh, well, there you go. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. <laughs> he needs me. Someone I don't need him. everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. I don't need him. That's who I am. I need that him! That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will then be Then I'll be back. Very soon. I can wait. Motherfucker, I am not coming back. 
<laughs> uh, all right, back in this hellhole. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm thoroughly enjoying this dumb shit. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. What is he talking to me like that shit? Thank you for the 500 biddies. How are you enjoying the game? I'm loving it. Oh shit! New content. Say less. New content? What does that mean? New content. Yo, chat! New, new content. Let's go! Don't do it yet. Why not? But I wanna. It says new. But I wanna do it. Why? Why shouldn't I do it? Why shouldn't I do the new content? Why shouldn't I do the new content? Why shouldn't I do it? Why shouldn't I do it? Why shouldn't I do it? Come on. Do it. 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 Let's fucking do it. I don't give a shit. Wait. It locks off other stuff. What? Well. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As yeah. you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Oh. Neat! After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Neat. Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. That's what we're playing right now. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Yay! Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Grulovia, Deluxe. Grulovia. Oh, I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Hey, Unsha. Thank you for the sub. Okay, so far it's an elephant. <laughs> Nothing Yay. special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing this is adventure. This is the content we're, we're going to drop, aren't we? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, uh, oh, there we go. All right, hey, what's finally, up, Z-Dog? At long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let love us. Grulovia, Grulovia. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. <laughs> Mostly them... tedious. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. True. Wow. I love it. All right, all right. Let's see. It's the jumps. <gasps> I got this. Yes, 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 yes. Can I jump out of it? Nope. Let's go. Push it to the limit. Uh. No. This game sucks. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Push it to oh, the limit. Editor. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumps. No jumps for Sai, no jumps for, for me. New content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's two you better of start. new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. It was our margin. Oh. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Let's go! That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? Mm, this is pork, what happens pork, when greedy video pork, game developers pork, with no pork. respect yeah, for their families rush a cheap expansion to market for no Rush? 
Motherfucker, this is a nine-year-old game! Other than to make an easy dollar, and don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's trophies, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test trophy, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? Yeah, do I'm I get it though? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Uh, find them on the <sighs> Twitter. Stanley, I built up too much anticipation around the new content I'm afraid. Bro, this is too it real. I don't like it. lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. True. What do you say, friend? I want to hide behind the sun. Okay, that wasn't me. You restarted for me. Oh, whatever. Nope. Things have changed. Yo, it's like I'm in CTU. Hmm. Okay. Psst. Stanley. Come <laughs> over here. In the vent. Nah, I'm I good, bro. I want to show you something. Nah, I'm good, bro. Oh. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway. <laughs> Yeah, fuck your vent. Oh, hey, we're back in the main game. <laughs> I guess I'll indulge him, fellas. Thank you for the sub, Dark Arrow. Oh, never mind. You're not a dog. Yeah, that's right. You fucking treat me nice. Treat me nice. Oh, God. My ass. I'm okay. venting, fellas. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got no. me thinking about the past and how Dude, much we're Minecraft, the bro. Parable used to be. Uh, so what? I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. What? Just our little secret. What the fuck is this? Send me back. Send me back. I don't like it. It's too nice. It's too nice. Bro, this is some Elden Ring shit. I call it the memory zone. I don't like it's it. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. All right. It's a little too meta for me, my guy. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap PlayStation port? I'm playing it on what you motherfucking piece of shit. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then. <laughs> back then? Are you sure? It all meant something. Oh, the waste. Good times? I don't remember half those times. Smile because it happened. Oh, dude, they have Mr. Krabs' millionth dollar fucking hung up. That's pretty pog, chat. I can't believe they're SpongeBob fans. That's pretty pog, champ. Unachievable. True. Oh, I got that ending. Yeah, this memory zone sucks. Is that a butt? Oh. In loving memory of all oh, little Stanley. Alright, this needs to stop. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 care. from Destructoid.com. Oh my god. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Hi, oh, does fucking get so me out of here, bro. Inspired to be more than games end up less than any form of art. I hate them. Stanley em. Parable strives and then succeeds to be every oh game ever created. Oh my gosh. Created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's all how right. grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It Damn, was Persona 3? Getting the shout-out? It's no games at all. 
It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just That's a crazy. husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. It's crazy, dog. Original. Hey, you won't let me in the maintenance room. Person of the year. Can I leave now? Dude, this narrator sucks. Here's another moving passage. This oh time from my GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating <laughs> and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. The game was perfect. It didn't no. need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the PlayStation. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved French. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But this I wouldn't serious to go back to have it all over again. Then let's go. To the maintenance Wait, room. Hang on. Yes. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh God. What's this? What's down here? Oh God. Ah. Oh no. Oh God, no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I've I have never heard of them. Years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well. Hey, yo, right? chat. Has anybody ever heard of pressurized gas? I'm about to get called out for being uncultured because I don't know who the fuck they are. You know what I mean? Steam reviews. Oh. So like I said, I did not. I am an uncultured piece of shit and you just called me out. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm Tell trying to be funny. I'm trying to make already. a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web Thank you, of Sam, for the seven months. insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. I'm still thinking about I'm funny. Isn't this from Half-Life? I'm in Half-Life 2, dog. I'm funny. Oh, you did a fan art? Bet. I'm funny. Uh, yeah, there's some cute fan arts in right now. Let's check them out, chat. Get even more meta. So that's me by Izzy. In Stanley Parable, we also have me, handsome. We have me all cutesy like by Sleepy. We have me all white day like. Why's it gotta be white? And lightsabers from that one time we played Lego. Let's go! If you're not in the Discord, make sure to join the Discord. Why can't I open shit? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me How do I'm I? preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, you are. This is actually you are. quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the I'm game I'm nodding my head, dog. You're preachy. Game. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. 
Perhaps the Stanley oh. parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. <laughs> sterling. Jim Sterling. Oh, what's their name now? Because they, they've transitioned, right? What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip Jane button. Stephanie Sterling, thank you. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Oh. 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 Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of... Yep. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self absorption Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. 12 You've hours?! Been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no... Let's find out. <laughs> oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Just oh, hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever what? sat down in one place and not move for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunity. Finally, some quiet chat. Now I'm the narrator. <clears throat> well, you see, Stanley, you press the button so many times that you actually man. Huh? What was that? Oh, there it is. What is that? Oh, it's a fire alarm. Yeah, I'm skipping this. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak what? to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't. I hear a drip. The 
end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end Oh, there it is. It's dripping. It's dripping. Drip, drip, drip. <gasps> Shout out to the memory zone. Hey, what's up, Michigichi? Ah, the last of us. I used to play Splitgate a lot. I said it first, Simba. I said it first. Simba, I said it first. I hope you know that. Anyway. Oh. Well, the plants are dead now. Again. Bro, what is happening? When's this guy coming back? Never ending party. Ne what was that? Go get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh. Wait. Give it a second. Maybe the button will reset. Oh, well, never mind. Oh no! It's Dune! I'm on Tatooine, bro! Well, chat, now I'm the narrator of my story. Well, you see, Stanley, the narrator has always been Stanley. You didn't know this, of course, because it has been such a millennia. Now you walk endlessly into the desert abyss, not knowing where to go. The world is your oyster, Stanley. The world is our oyster, Stanley. We don't know where to go. We only see the horizon line and then darkness.